Welcome to Video Wombat Studio. Today we'll be taking a look at the Rode Link News Shooter Kit. I ordered it from Soundcorp on New Year's Eve and it arrived two days after they'd opened for business in the new year. It was very good service and I thank the people there for it. Just a disclaimer I'm no way associated with Rode or Soundcorp. I use a lot of Rode equipment and I've purchased it from other suppliers as well. The new shooter has two units, a transmitter and a receiver. The receiver obviously goes on the camera and the transmitter is where you plug a microphone into. At the moment this is being recorded to the camera via the new shooter onto a Rode NTG2. Let's have a look at the new shooter units out of the box. This is the unit with a Rode NTG2 mounted on it. It's quite comfortable to hold and is balanced quite well. We now have a dynamic microphone attached. It's a Huxley that I purchased from Aldi. I've turned phantom power off because unlike the Rode shotgun microphone, this doesn't require power. I'd like to also say that I have no association with Huxley or Aldi. We now have the Rode SmartLav Plus connected to it. The SmartLav Plus is designed for an iPhone and has the TRRS plug on it. However, I'm using it on the unit with a TRRS to TRS converter. Right, this time we're testing the J-Car lavalier plugged into the new shooter transmitter. I've got it in its leather bag which has a quite a sturdy belt clip on the side. Uh, also when you do put it on it's actually upside down so it keeps any rubbish out of there if it's a bit of moisture around. So I'll put that on and we'll go for a walk just hooking it onto my belt we'll see how this goes you can plug headphones into the transmitter as well as the receiver so we'll see how this goes just crossing the road the car coming OK, we'll start our walk from here at approximately 50 metres. Bird calling up in the tree. A motorbike coming. And past my uh, Wi-Fi unit, which is in there, about a metre away. And coming up to the camera now. And the only other Wi-Fi here is my neighbours, which is approximately oh, five, six metres away from where I am now. Right, we'll have a look at these on, on the camera. 
that's it mounted on the Canon XA10. It's mounted up here and I have the 3.5 plug going into an XLR converter because on the XA10 you have two XLR inputs so that's what we've been using at the moment I'm using a Toshiba with the Rode lavalier okay this is the transmitter unit has a door on the front to close it the controls are on in there battery compartment on the back and on the top it has the XLR input and the 3.5 millimeter input there's a locking ring that locks up when your microphone is on it on the side it has a headphone jack and a USB port some of the extras that came with it some little rings which you can put between the uh, microphone and the transmitter if it's rattling a bit on it so they fit on here and just make a bit of a space so it came with a little hex spanner thing that allows you to hook it on tighter once you get the ring done up you can do it up with this and lock it on and as you saw before it came comes with this uh, container for the road which as I said fits in upside down with the clip on the side well that's the end of the review on this item it's one of my only reviews so far the number one review if you liked it give it the thumbs up and uh, we'll be doing some more the next uh, one I'm making for vid video studio will be the setup I use now including the unit we've just seen for videoing trains.